Allied naval forces, supported by strong air forces, began landing Allied armies this morning. Everything is on fire. The smoke, the smell, everything. 65 years ago, Bob Watson was an 18-year-old Navy sailor, a member of the 6th Beach Battalion, shown in this footage taken on D-Day. It was a little-known naval unit that was one of the first to land at Omaha Beach. The death and destruction. Uh, uh, there were more just bodies everywhere, body parts everywhere. There were 363 sailors in the 6th Beach Battalion, trained to provide medical services, demolition, and boat repair for the rest of the invading army. A stripe across their helmets distinguished them from other troops. So this is what you actually wore? Yes, this is the helmet we wore over there. A landing was made this morning on the coast of France. Just absolute total chaos. The German army had set obstacles for the invading troops. Watson's landing craft hit a mine offshore. And it just disintegrated the front end of that landing craft and threw that landing, what left of it, threw it up in the air. He survived and swam ashore, torn up, but still able to help clear the area for the incoming troops. These boys are, are apparently having a, a pretty tough time in here on the beaches. So tough, Allied commanders considered abandoning Omaha Beach. But by the end of the first day, small groups of soldiers had managed to scale the bluffs above the beach and gain a foothold. So with all the things that went wrong, what went right? Well, good old American ingenuity. <laughs> a few months later, Bob Watson was sent on leave to Southern California. He's the boogie woogie bugle bottle company B spending his nights at the USO. They sent in a bus uh, to the, the high school, pick up the junior and senior high school girls, and they bring them to the USO. And that's where I met Margie, uh, my wife. And I've been dancing with her for 63 years. <laughs> 65 years after that terrible battle, Bob Watson returned to Normandy to honor his fellow sailors of the nearly forgotten 6th Beach Battalion. All those shipmates. Somebody's got to tell their story. It bothers me today, obviously, you can tell, but uh, it always will. At 83, Watson knows this is likely his last trip to Normandy, and he wanted to say a proper goodbye. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, San Marcos, California.